I'm John Kirsch, one of the instructors at Hoofers, and this is Norman Gilliland, a local celebrity from the public radio. Uh, that's where I recognize the voice. And, <laughs> and uh, we are having a lesson in how to use the Spinnaker on the 420, which is the racing boat. The Spinnaker is a downwind sail, which gives additional speed and power to the boat as it's approaching, as it has come around the upwind mark and is approaching the downwind mark. And the spinnaker is set out of the port side of the boat, and it's supported by a pole that will be out on the starboard side because we'll be on a starboard tack when we set it. So, Norman, I showed you how to set the pole. Would you like to put the pole up? I'll try, John. Okay. The pole is attached to three points. The pole should be pretty well horizontal to the deck of the boat, and the crew has control of that by a yellow line. Most lines are yellow in this boat, and that should be about horizontal, perpendicular to the map. Is it Norman? Yes, it is. Okay. We're going to set the spinnaker from outside the boat as a demonstration. The crew has control of both ends of the foot of the sail, and the skipper raises the sail. So Norman, you can come over here and hold these two lines. I'm going to raise the sail. When I raise the sail, you're going to need to pull one corner out to the end of the pole and then start feeding on this one if there's some width. Okay? Yes. And you may have to hold the pole in position when you bring it out. Normally, when we set the sail, we'll be going dead downwind or nearly so. The boom will be out that side. You can think of the pole as a kind of a sail. Here I go. This is done very fast. And grab the pole, pull that corner. There you go. And now with some wind, the other line on the port side is the one that cheats the sail. And I can see that we don't have a great deal of wind today, but maybe the sail will fill if we just wait a minute until the wind comes up again. That's the one for trimming. There we go. Very nice. Okay. When you trim a spinnaker, you want to watch as with any sail, so it's just on the edge of luffing on the uh, on the luff of the sail, which by definition is the edge that comes up from where it's attached at the end of the pole. That's the tack. The luff is going up towards the head of the sail, and ideally it should just be fluttering right above that red that red band. So just play with that left hand line, hold the pole where you've got it. Play with the one in your left hand, and uh, play with the trim of the sail. Ease it a little bit, see what happens. Ease this one, ease it out. There you go. Okay, it's collapsing, so pull in a little bit more. Dreadful, dreadful wind. <laughs> I see the, the wind is coming like that. Let's go a little bit more downwind, if we can. I'll pull the front of the boat around. Spin all the other way for a moment. There we go. Okay, ease the pole forward, Norman. When you ease one, you have to pull yeah, on us. Yeah. The there we go. Okay, hold the pole as much in, as you can in position. It will help if we put the sheet, or the guy rather, under there. Yeah. Move the pole forward just a little. And now, ease this. See what happens. No wind again. It's now in our face again. <laughs> there, there we go. Right. Okay. Now, play with, hold this <coughs> one where you got it, and just play in and out. See how, okay? See how it's beginning to break up there? Major manipulation you're going to have to learn, Norman, is when we change tack, so the wind's coming over the port side of the boat, then the pole has to be over on the other side, and the boom has to be over on the, on the starboard side. So the job of the crew when the skipper decides to change course going down with, the job of the crew is to move the pole. Right. And when the pole is moved, then the boom is jived as well. The boat goes off onto the port tack. Smile. And you'll be sheeting with this hand. Good morning, George. And positioning the pole with that hand. Okay? Yeah. All right. So you so, flip it from this end. Right. What you would do is you would hand those lines back to the skipper. Pretend you're the skipper now, and I'll jive the pole for you. Yeah. Again, remember, ordinarily we'll want 
this line under the wing to stabilize the pole. Okay, car is gone. Okay. Right. So driving the pole is as follows. Release the twig. Ease the pole down a few inches so that it's easier to get off. Reach out. You'll be standing here. Try to get the pole off the sheet and off of the mast. Then reach over and try to snag you can go the line on the that's a little hard to do unless the skipper is flying the chute. So try to keep the chute full. It's like a tight with two strings. The distances are short enough that you could probably do something like I just did. Reach over. Push the pole out. Ease it a little bit more. Clip it to the ring at the front. Then raise the pole again. Did rather more than I wanted it to. Ease those lines so I can do this. There we go. At this point, we'll be ready to drive the boom and to get on a port pack. So let's just swing the bow of the boat around a bit. You can go through, that's fine. There we go. Now ease the pole forward some. A little bit. Whoops. Ease there. Okay. And now you're sheeting on the right hand side. There you go. There you go. Again, the pole wants to be stabilized under the swing. And once again, you want to watch that front that edge for buffing. They're going to ease that a little bit. We'll overshoot it right now. There you go. See how it's... Okay. Good. So now we're on a port set. You'll probably be standing on that side of the boat, of course. Right. The pole is a little bit far forward to a downwind sail, so you might want to just pull that back somewhat. Every time you pull on one line, you have to ease on the other. Okay. Good. Now the last thing that you have to do as a crew is participate in dousing or bringing in the spinnaker. And the way you'll do that is if you're on a port tack, you have to get the pole out of the way so that you can pull in the corner of the sail. If you're on a starboard tack, that wouldn't be a problem because the sail would be on the other side of the pole and you could just bring it right in. So if, the, if we were on a port tack and the, and the skipper said it's time to douse, the first thing you would do is get the pole out of the way. 